Hey fuckers, welcome to the Terrible Podcast, I'm Nick. I'm Brad. Today we're going to talk about some shit. Today we're going to talk about some shit. We've got some shit to talk about today. we got some goddamn shit to talk about, boy. <laughs> oh, who's that guy? Wow, well, that's me. Dude. That's me when I'm 80. Ooh. Yeah. You know what I want to do, Brad? What's that? I want to somehow pull your eyelid out as far as humanly possible and stretch it over the back of your head. Jesus Christ. So that I can literally punch you in the eyeball. Why? I don't know, dude. That's fucked up. This isn't a Tim Burton movie. Because I'm fucking hard. Like, on the penis is what he's talking about. And that's why it's super fucking weird. Because I'm aroused. I could say on the penis. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, that's that's funny. Dude. Uh, Holy shit. You want to know what I want to do, Brad? What's that? I want to go out to the playground. Oh, is this a fucking and, insult contest? And I'm gonna. Li- I want you to like climb up onto the playground equipment, and I want to fucking step on your fingers. You remember when that shit happened when you were a little kid? I remember when you just called them fingers. So Did I say it weird? Yeah, you're a fucking stupid idiot. All right, There's take our two. insult contest. <laughs> say it all again. <laughs> say it all again. Well, Let's hear it all again. One what, more time. What you said was mean. <laughs> It was actually mean. <laughs> so it's, I'm just took, trying to threaten you. My just, I just took it too far on my first entry. <laughs> what I'm saying is preposterous. What you're saying is, is cruel and unnecessary. I'm not good at these games. It's not man. necessary, Brad. I'm not good at these games. I'm almost out of Chalky Milky. I hope your house is full of spiders. Mm. That one's scary because arachnophobia. Did mm-hmm. we already talk about that on the podcast? Yeah, we talked okay. about arachnophobia. Well, then we all know about arachnophobia. Okay. Um, <laughs> you got I want to. I want to duct tape your hands together so you got Danny DeVito penguin hands. <laughs> all right. <laughs> That'd be cool. I'm gonna have you dip them in super glue. Yeah. And then you'll have to masturbate with them. I don't know how I'll make all that happen, but that's yeah. I'm not good at this game, dude. Um, I'm going to hold your mouth open. I'm going to dump a box of thumbtacks into it. I'm going to close your mouth, and then I'm going to fucking uppercut you, dog. (laughs) All right. (laughs) I'm uh, I'm going to super glue your butt cheeks together and open them up with a chainsaw. (laughs) Why don't you just start with the chainsaw? No, because I want to glue them together. I want to glue them Because <laughs> I want to glue them first. Because I want to fucking glue them first. That's why. I, are we breaking this down logistically or what? I hope that all of your favorite beer uh, gets like a weird different recipe and it never tastes the same again. I'm going to rub fresh cut onions all over the inside of every one of your kitchen drawers. Ooh. Ooh. Dude, okay, so no, no joke, uh few days ago i played golf i had a hot dog uh and i put onions on it because i love onions on my hot dog and i swear i don't hate that i swear by the moon and the stars in the sky that i'll be there that i fucking smelled like onions for like the next actual 24 hours i think it was just sweating out of you I think you were no out i think it was just stuck to my fingers and my fucking mouth and my mustache dude it was driving yeah. me fucking crazy. Yeah, smelling like onion sucks. Reminiscent of B.O., if we're being honest. B.O.'s yeah. got an onion aspect to it. Well, I don't remember uh, B.O. because I've always been very cleanly just, and hygienic. Just, uh, oh, uh, I've never been around anybody with B.O. ever? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You have. Well, you, you said reminiscent of B.O. It made me think you were saying, like, reminds me of the time that I had B.O. No. Am I wrong here? Am I fucking missing something, dude? Well, I think B.O. is a wholly natural thing, but do your best to, you know... Be a hygienic, up, dude. Yeah. Be a hygienic person, and then it's no big deal, you know. Dude, I I think that like you, I don't want everybody to smell like bo. That is not I don't want what anybody I'm to smell. Like yeah, BO. ideally zero people smell like bo. That's the point. I think the people that but walk around smelling a, like that are very thing. selfish. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and just taking up all the pleasant air with what you smell mm, like. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that's rude, dude. Just Wait, what I said or what they do? No, what they do. Yeah, just, fuck them. Dude, fuck them! Just, just fucking on the air like that. Fuck this is everybody's them. air. This is, this is everybody's air. You, sh- you share the you air. Just fucking share the air. We share this air 
You don't care, but we share the air. McDonald's, sir, and you are fucking on my air right now. This whole air is all of our airs. <laughs> I've been sir? I've been pointing up and circling my hand for for a good yeah. Imagine 20 a, uh, a guy trying to throw a lasso, but yeah. instead he's just pointing towards <laughs> the sky. Dude, I'm a guy trying to show you where the air is. It's <laughs> all of this around us. We all breathe that. Um, Brad, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna beat the shit out of you, Brad. I don't know. I'm running out of ideas with those. I don't know. I'm gonna kick your kick your. Gonna butt. throw a couple stray cats and a couple bearded dragons in your bed in the middle of the night. <laughs> That'd be cool, kind of. <laughs> See what would happen. I don't think it'd be cool for the person in the bed. Probably not. The goal is for the cats to react to the dragons and vice versa. Yeah. Like, that's why they're stray cats. I want them to be a little, you know what I mean? I don't like being inside. I'm a stray cat. A little you know. skittish. Yeah. 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 Hey, Brad. What? I got a question for you. What hey. is it? How you doing, Can buddy? Can you just tell me the question? Oh, I'm doing great. <laughs> That's good. I'm doing really good, man. Good. I'm having a blast. This is a good time. We're having a good time. As always, hey, we're all here having a little fun. It's a good Dude. time. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, it's a fucking good time. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, yeah, no. You, the, your, the word time there, like, punched me in the fucking face when well, you said I'm, it. That I'm, was insane. I'm still trying to threaten you, but, I, <laughs> but all I can do is shout. I'm good about that, though, dude. If I'm going to yell, I fucking back up from the microphone. Oh, yeah. No, you know? yeah, absolutely. Recording-wise, that's great. I um, just meant actually. I wasn't oh, commenting yeah. on like it being loud for the purpose of recording the podcast. I was just talking about, that was fucking percussive, dog. Yeah, you're definitely sharing looking, the room with me. Dang! Like it's, uh, <laughs> holy shit. Dude, I know the right fucking time to back up from the mm-hmm. microphone. You know what I'm saying? Um, oh, hey, uh, Polly, what fucking time is it? Holy shit. <laughs> Polly. Just curious about the fucking thing. Uh, we've been having a lot of fun with the stereotype Italian voice. I don't think I'm good at that either. I think, dude, you do fine. You do fine. All right. It's it's not like it transforms into something else like mine always does. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Fact, hey, get... how's everybody doing here tonight? I think it'll be bad looking down on the pond if you <laughs> ask me. <laughs> That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool, dude. I just I snorted like six times about that, and and uh, I, don't, I don't like to do that. I do not like to do that. I like to have better control over myself, and when I snort like a bitch, I feel um, all the time. I feel like I'm not in control. That reminds me of a story I heard about Vince McMahon. Mm-hmm. The, For some uh, reason, I thought you were going to say Vince McNeil. No. Nope. And that's not even a person. Not a person. That's not even a fucking person. Not a person. Um, Please continue. So, okay, Vince McMahon, owner of uh, WWE. Yeah. And you can't teach that. Can't teach that. He um, Vince, and you can't teach that, McMahon. His middle yeah. name is The Balls. <laughs> Whoa. No, his, 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 real na- his, his middle name is Kennedy. Um, oh. I know a lot about that's wrestling, the by the way. One of these days, I'm going to do an entire episode just about wrestling. This guy's a fucking okay, encyclopedia so I'm gonna <laughs> of wrestling. I'm a po wrestling encyclopedia. So um, he fucking he refuses to sneeze, dude. He's such a control freak that he like won't sneeze. So I, I watched an interview with Paul Heyman. Okay. And he, like it was like a bunch of people talking about the the weird like control tendencies that he has, right? But Paul Heyman tells the story. He's like, uh, one time we were we were talking about the booking or whatever, and Vince was about to sneeze, and then he actually sneezed, and he's like, and then I just couldn't communicate with him for the rest of the meeting. He he was like, he was like, dazed about the fact that he, he's like he's like his eyes were wide and he was just looking around the room, like he was very uncomfortable that he allowed himself to sneeze. It's wild. And that's fucking crazy to me. That's wild. I, I, I should be able to control myself, pal. No, you'll give yourself a fucking aneurysm. God damn pop it. blood vessels in your eye and shit. You, you should sneeze as a person. Healthy Welcome pe- to WrestleMania. Healthy people sneeze. Vince McMahon. Uh, shout out. That Vince. was a Vince McMahon impression? Yeah, dude. What a maneuver! Do you remember when he was an announcer? Yeah. 
He was did great. I watch? Did I like watch it actively then? No, but I remember that that was a thing. Okay, he seen was. plenty of clips of it. it was I was, a, it was I was, dude, that was before my time. What's gonna be Kane? <laughs> you say, fuck, okay. fucking love you, Vince. Thanks for everything. Um, Brad, I'm gonna buy you a pet rabbit and wait for you to fall in love with it, dude. And then I'm just gonna take it back. I don't know. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, oh, uh, uh, sh- Mr. Hoppity Hop, he's coming with me. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'd And then, that. no, check it out. Then when you're feeling super sad about it, come over, pick him up. I feel really bad. And then you'll show up and I'll be like, yeah, he'll be out in a second. First, try this soup, motherfucker. And you'll be like, oh, it smells great. And I'll be like, it should smell great. It's made with love. And you'll be like, oh, word? And I'll be like, yeah, because you love Mr. Hoppity Hop, don't you? Because it's fucking... The pet rabbit is in the soup, Brad. I killed him and I made soup out of him after you fucking fell in love with him, Brad. That was the longest threat. First ever. of all, that would hurt my feelings. Good well, threat. That was the idea. Was Old bit. Is it? Yeah, that's uh I I mean I imagine it was done before them too, but uh Good old wrestling of yours. Oh my god! Uh, was that it was. The, was that the Rock and Sock connection? No. no, was it like Al Snow or somebody? Yeah, it was Al Snow and the Big Boss Man. The, and Al uh, Snow had a Chihuahua named Pepper, and okay. the Big Boss Man kidnapped him. Holy yeah. fuck! I just straight up stole that from wrestling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Big Boss Man cooked him up and made him eat it. It's probably because we were talking about Vince, and then yeah. uh, some little wrestling door in my mind opened up, and yep. I'm like, I'm gonna give and then, him a uh, pet and kill it and on feed it to him. South Park, Cartman made uh, Scott Tennerman eat his parents in a slightly bowl of different chili. yeah but still pretty fucked yeah i think that's the same point yeah. i think they're making the same point and then at the end he's like yeah um fuck that was a good one mm-hmm. scott tennerman scott tennerman. piece of shit he Take actually re- scott tennerman? Dude, i was glad scott tennerman yeah, actually scott reminded me of a real bully that i had in junior high oh yeah fuck scott tennerman so that episode was like extra special to me right on. not that i want to kill this kid's parents. you're like i wish i could have made some pube chili with that kid's parents in it and yeah. served it to him and then had him eat it in front of the whole town and then had him come out and make his whole his have his whole band. favorite band on the planet yeah. come out and make fun of him for it um that would have felt good, but instead I just let him fuck with me for several years, and then he kind of lost interest. And here I'm we a, are now. I, and I'm a damaged person because yeah. of it. And God uh, damn, dude. to the detriment of the entire world, that guy never had to eat his parents. He did have a. Nah, nope. It's not worth it. All right, never mind. <laughs> it was getting too real. Was it, it starting to get too real? Yeah, it would have. It would have been cool to talk about, but that's not what we're doing here. We're, no, uh, that's not what we're about. Boy, I need to take a few steps back mentally here. I was I was about to go down some paths. Hold on, let me drink this beer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was good. That was good. Um Fuck you, Tony. Fuck Tony. Uh, uh, I burped. So uh hey Brad, I got a question for you. Okay. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> I'm good. Uh, actually, uh, kind of scared. Saw a ghost recently. Fuck off. I'm just kidding. I never saw any ghosts. Did you see a ghost? I've seen ghosts in my life. You have seen ghosts? Uh, well, okay. You know what? That was a real dumb way of putting it. No. I've had um, weird experiences, but nothing I can just be like, oh, that was definitely a ghost. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've had wild shit happen. Uh <coughs> I mean, there was like a, a couple times when I was real young like I went to my bedroom at night and then closed my door and then it sounded like something banged on the door real hard and I opened the door and I'm like hey where are the dogs at and they're like oh they're in bed I'm like did somebody bang on my door and they're like no and then there's just weird shit like that dumb shit there was one time me and Mafaja were sitting in a goddamn living room did you say farger i said me and my farger were what's, sitting what's farger that is my dad i know dude i'm just shout outs doug b doug b shout outs doug hope, b shout outs i hope you listen to the show i hope i hope Spread you listen the to the show uh we fucking me and pops were sitting in the living room and we heard what sounded like a bunch of plates crash like in the kitchen not a bunch like Two or three plates. It sounded like two or three plates fell all at the same time. Like they might have slipped out of a can or something. Okay. We're like, what the fuck, Dad? You know what I mean? Eight years old. And then, uh, you know, I went to the kitchen and nothing was out of place. It was just weird, you know, sound out of nowhere. It's like, whatever. Okay. Maybe it was summer and all the windows are open and something crazy happened outside. It's a neighbor's. I don't know. Uh, shit like that. So, 
Had another weird door incident. My mom, when I was a teenager, found uh, what I will call a bong. <laughs> that I admit, yeah, mom found my bong. This is when she first found out that I had smoked marijuana at some uh, point in my life. Oh boy. I'm uh, glad you gave that stuff up. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> Never again do I touch the devil's reefer. That's it. That was stupid. Uh, so, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> like, I got caught. It was a day that a bunch of, like, family and friends were over at the house, like, watching NASCAR or football or something out in the pool house. And uh, mom's like, man, you're in trouble. So then I was confined to my bedroom. Uh, my brother comes up and he's like, "Hey, Dirk, 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 you can't come can I borrow bong? that bong? Wait, you can't mom come with the bong. <laughs> that sucks. You're in trouble." So then, uh, he left, <laughs> <laughs> and I started playing uh, Need for Speed Underground Two. Shout out to great game. Need <laughs> Hold for Speed. on, dude. That part of the story completely unnecessary, but I'm very happy that it was a part of the story. When you were like, then my brother walked in, and then you made that sound for a while, and then you're like, and then he left, and it didn't matter. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> irrelevant. And he was like, "Sucks you got caught with the weed," and I'm like, "Yeah, I know." And he's like, "That's cool. We can probably hear some weed or something." I don't. Know. Right. All uh, right, later. <laughs> so, uh, and then he like left and exited the house. I was the only one in the house. At that point, everybody else was outside, across the yard, in the pool house, doing that thing, eating yeah. good food. Jealous, me. Yeah. And you were, you were actually, like, confined to your room? Like, you weren't leave your room? Yeah, my mom was like, go to your room and stay there, you're grounded. I'm like, oh, shit. Right. Uh, I guess I'll go play Need for Speed Underground, too. Yeah. And get high a motherfucking... <laughs> right, yeah, probably just so, continue smoking. Yeah. Right. Um, so then my brother came in and left. And, like, he's gone for, like, an, an actual minute, like, 60 seconds. Nobody else is in the house. I had closed and locked my door. You had to purposefully latch the door. Like, I had to lift the handle a little bit to get it to latch. I got gotcha. you. All right? So it was, like, a thing that you had to consciously do. So I remember I closed, latched, locked the door. And I go and I, like, just get back to the corner of my bed sit in front of the TV, and that door fucking, I hear the handle turn, and it swings open like a motherfucker and hits against the wall. And I'm like, oh, shit. Thought it was my brother fucking with me or something. You know, me or somebody coming back in to say something, whatever, maybe mom being mad, but she wasn't like a fling doors open against the wall kind of lady. Don't yeah. want to paint her the wrong way. She yeah. was... Uh, no, your mom's wonderful. You know, terrifying when she needed to be, but never in any sort of, like, violent manner. I'm sure. I'd, um, you can probably say that about most moms. Yeah. They're scary when they need to be. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, and I'm like, oh, what the fuck, dude? So I go up and I check, and I look down the stairs, and there's nobody there. My bedroom door's right by the stairs, nobody there. I walk downstairs, nobody in the house. I look out, there's nobody in the yard on the way to the pool house or back. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? So that one was kind of crazy, but, uh. Okay, can I, can I, uh, can I ask you a couple questions? Sure. First off, am I a bitch, dude? No, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, so people were outside, you said, for a while? They were out in the pool house. Okay. Everybody was in an entirely separate building on the property. Was it somewhat nice outside when this happened? Yeah, you think like air pressure or something might have pulled that door open? Well, my next question is, were possibly some windows and doors open in your house? It was summertime. Yeah, that could have been a thing. But But was, was your house older? Uh, yeah, but the doors weren't. The door frame was new and stuff like that. The entire frame was brand new? Yeah, like they they put new doors. And my then, idea's done right now. No, we know my door was fucky because okay. I had to purposefully latch it. Right. So we know my door was a little fucky. Right. All right. But I had to purposefully latch it and lock it. Gotcha. I heard the handle turn. That part is pretty cool. That, th- like, don't get me wrong. You know, I'm I'm, I'm a, a skeptic. debunker. I I'm a skeptic. I yeah. am as well. I'm not like, I, I don't, do I believe in ghosts? Who the fuck knows, man? But I'm leaning yeah. towards fucking 99.99% of these things can be debunked in one form or another Absolutely. if you do a little experimentation or yeah. exploration. You know what I mean? Don't I get agree. me wrong. The, but the part I, about know, the door handle turning is. And that's what's wild. That's the crazy. wild part of it. Yeah. Uh, I believe wild experiences happen. I believe there's normally an explanation for them. A logical explanation. You can Occam's razor that shit pretty easily. You know about Occam's razor? It's just a, like a, fil- it's like a philosophical con- concept or something. That may be over-explaining it. Um, but it's uh, basically what it says is the most rational explana- explanation is typically true. Yeah. Of something. That's yeah. a that's a generalized context of it, but uh, 
that's the point of it is it's like you know it's uh, uh what broke this ice it was probably that rock that hit the ice Right. You no need to over explain common occurrences or over elaborate on shit that probably it's not like, oh that wasn't if you're standing on a frozen pond and you see a hole in it near the shoreline, you're not gonna think, Oh, that was a meteor that hit this pond, you're gonna think that was somebody threw a rock from the shoreline. Yeah. That's Occam's razor is just eliminating wild ass concepts because there's usually more you know what i mean Makes oh sense. did did a ghost open that door or did a change in air pressure open that door in my right bedroom? well you know that's, what I mean? yeah that's it where mean, i'm coming from exactly yeah, so yeah. that's that's the direction i typically come from but that handle turn is the wild part of that story you know what i mean yeah um absolutely um i don't the think... plates crashing one is crazy just to me that it doesn't sound like a wild story so i can understand how anybody else will be completely dismissive of this yeah i get it i'm the same way but, uh, like, the plates crashing when I was young is wild because, like, that sounded like plates f- fell down in the kitchen. Yeah. Which we lived... Okay, we lived in a little bungalow. It's not like the kitchen was 40 feet away. Bungholo. Bungholo. It's, the, kitchen was, the kitchen was eight feet that direction through an arch doorway. Like, I could see the motherfucker. Right. Uh, and I went in there and there's fucking nothing. And that was wild, too. But I was really young for that. So, it's, you know... Maybe some of that's fucking. It's. I obviously wasn't a super debunker back then. Who the fuck knows? Maybe some. I imagine something normal happened there, and then. Very whatever. possible. Maybe my brother broke his fucking bong in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean maybe. Man, I, I'm sitting. I'm racking my brain, and I. I don't. I don't think I've ever had. Uh, a single. <clears throat> experience that i could even remotely consider to be uh paranormal but i do have weird fuck man how do i even put this you okay. told me a story before did you come you can say what you gotta say it sounded like it was gonna be super interesting well, well it's just i have a weird like sense for things like it, but not like oh i can see the future but it's like my phone will be ringing in my pocket and I have a feeling it's my dad, and it's my dad. Like, every time. I don't know. It's weird. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, and I'm not, I'm not about to... The punchline isn't because I look at my caller ID, and it's my dad. And I'm like, oh, my dad's calling. Like, I mean that, though. Like, <laughs> it, it happened today. We were hanging out uh, playing video games for a little bit, and my phone started ringing, and I'm like, oh, that's probably my dad. So instead of ignoring it, I reached into my pocket and sure as fuck, it was my dad. Yeah. I, I have weird like connections to certain people. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'll, I'll randomly think about somebody and they'll fucking call me or tag me oh, in something wild. on Facebook. Yeah. Not me. Yeah, certainly not you. Because <laughs> you're, you're the worst phone friend ever. But so, I mean, so that's Do you thing. sense it when I'm calling you? Because I call you rarely. It's rare. I mean, not, yeah, no, you it's don't, not like I... You it's don't, not like I never call you. It's just I don't call you often. When I call you, it's with a purpose. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, no. It's mainly like family members and like my wife. I got you. And stuff. So you're saying we're not tight, dude? No, I'm just saying we rarely call each other. We're more or less texters. Okay, so it's know? hard for you to be a phone psychic when I don't call you. Every right, day. yeah. You got to actually call me sometimes. Yeah. I don't well, know. I, dude, I'll, listen, I'll run me a bath. I'll throw some <laughs> rose petals in it. I'll light some candles and I'll give you a shot, bro. Just to talk. Do it. We'll talk. I'll be like, hold on. Let me get my bath going. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And, and we'll oh, fucking, yeah, that'll be dope. We'll have a conversation. And I'll be like, all right, my bath's ready. What's up, bath buddy? What up, bath bro? Yeah, kick your butt. I'm going to kick your butt, Brad. Just two bros. I'm bringing fucking... back the threats. Chilling in a hot tub 10 feet apart because they don't <laughs> want to feel gay. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Um, uh, what you were gonna say something? You told me a story before. Okay. Um, about and this was when you were younger at the. We'll just call it the lake house. Yeah. All right. Um, oh, about my brother. Yeah, was it was like he saw your mom or something. Okay. But like his, it, it his, was a real like doppelganger. Yeah. Wild his, story, dude. Okay, my brother's story goes like this, and I won't say which brother. Um. Okay, let me re- restart it. It wasn't even a brother of mine. Just to pretend, it was a brother of mine. But this guy I know one time told me that when he was, like, in his teen, uh, his teens, 
He went to some like party a, f- uh, a few miles away. Not, it, it, and I think he was too young to even like party. I think it was literally like he rode his bike to a party. Yeah. Uh, and came home, and it was kind of late at night. And he was going to walk upstairs to his bedroom, but there was a fucking, uh, we had like a family room next to the stairs. And he said that my mom, that his mom was, uh, making a bed for him on the couch in that room. And she was dressed like in like a all white nightgown, not like sexy you know, just no. Just a normal. Do you mean like just, period? Was it like period clothing? Like, did it seem no, like no, no, older no. nightgown? He, did, or just, he just he just said it appropriate just like for the her, time. Just her in a yeah, nightgown. Just looked like her. Did your mom ever wear a nightgown like that? Um, his mom has been known to wear. Did nightgowns, his mom wear a nightgown? But okay. um, but it was he. He just said he thought about it later, and that part should have been kind of weird. Yeah. But he just didn't think anything of it. Um, and she was making a bed for him on the couch, and. You know, he's like, well, good night. And she's like, oh, I, I made the bed for you down here. I thought maybe you can sleep down here tonight. And he's like, why? And she's like, uh, just, you know, I just thought it'd be, you know, and like you can wake up in the morning and your brothers will come hang out with you. It'll be nice. And he's like, okay. And he slept on the couch. And then the next morning, his mom was like, why are you sleeping on the couch? So that's a fucking weird thing that happened. Yeah, that's and wild. here's the thing. My friend... Okay, is not the kind of person that's like, let me tell you all this crazy shit, yeah. you know, like. Yeah, when this guy tells you a story like that, you know, it's as legit as a story yeah, like that. Yeah, like be. he's a very level-headed. Doesn't ever present person. you wild scenarios. So I don't know. Maybe I should believe in that kind of stuff because that's a crazy story. Anyway, um. You got more shit like that? It was my brother, Eric. Boom. I said it. (laughs) it. He's very successful and super nice, but he has a fucking ghost story. Yeah. So take that. Yeah, Eric's got a brain. You wouldn't expect him. Not that people are stupid who believe in ghosts. That was really coming out the wrong way. Yeah. Eric's a smart fella, and he doesn't necessarily bring up just wild, off-the-wall shit. You know what I mean? He's not like... He's never like, so I fucking saw some aliens last night. Right. He's He's not conspiracy theory guy. Yeah, he's not... not, Check out this UFO. He's He's not not a degenerate gambler. This guy's just... (laughs) (laughs) Solid dude. Yeah, he's just solid. A guy you wouldn't expect to come up with a fucking doppelganger story like that. That's wild. It's weird. That's wild. It's a very strange story. That's crazy. Yeah, man. So, you know, I don't know what to think about that kind of stuff, but I know that I have never actually experienced anything like that, and any time that I have even for a second thought that I was experiencing something like that, I have quickly uh, been able to debunk it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, it's just whatever the fuck oh it's yeah. just my fans starting to act like a piece of shit you yeah know? like yeah that's all it is absolutely um, um my mom swears up and down that when i was a kid we were walking up to the barnes and noble bookstore here in springfield okay and uh this bookstore has heavy wooden doors non-automatic you have to push these guys open yourself yeah. okay uh as she swears up and down that we were approaching those doors, and I went. I was leading the pack, all right? And I approached them, and those doors just opened. Both pairs, two pairs of doors just opened. That's wild. Well, yeah. Um, like, it's. do I remember this? No. Uh, I was a little tyke. But uh, mom swears that that shit happened. I'm like, that's wild, dude. I've predicted most, I can say now. I don't think I predicted my most recent nephew's uh coming around but i i've i've always predicted my brother's pregnancies you can smell pregnancy in the air yeah and you're like <laughs> some bitch is pregnant <laughs> <laughs> yep that's exactly what yeah. i say you call uh, her you call her a bitch even though you respect her yeah man um well, that's cool. You know, I'm, I'm not, not a psychic, uh, dude. But wild shit like that is. I'm a phone psychic, and that You're I know who's psychic. calling me usually. 
I, I don't know. I, I can't say I believe one way or the other, yeah. but, you know. I don't want to call it psychicness. I'd rather just call it, like, intuition. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, so sometimes you get a feeling. Don't get me wrong. It's, it comes to the supernatural. Like, I don't... I and here's another here's a philosophical concept of mine. I don't think anything's supernatural. I think it's all natural. Maybe we just don't understand what is, what's up with it yet. You know what I mean? Like, well, it's called supernatural. I I, I feel like they're selling that term short. Supernatural just sounds just super regular. Just you know, like maybe it's call not it what like, natural means to me. Natural doesn't I'm, mean nature to you? No, natural means nature, but it means the whole of nature, not necessarily regular. Okay. Natural doesn't mean regular. Natural just means a part of nature. Like, the, like, like why fucking, don't they call it ultra normal? You know, like, that's I gotcha. fucked is what I'm saying. Yeah. Why don't they call it super wacky? <laughs> like, really fucking let you know what's happening. Because when I was a kid, I would hear supernatural. I'm like, all right, everything's fine. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> no, supernatural sounds scientific. It's just a way to define it. But, like, uh, no, I think it's. I, majority said there's, like, a wholly logical, uh, physical way that these things are happening. You know what I mean? Yeah. But we just haven't explained it. Like, we don't have a camera that can sense that can pick up light in a certain wavelength for us to see this thing that's actually just completely fucking explainable gamma rays from the fucking sun or some shit you know what i mean sun dogs what do people think of the fucking uh <clears throat> northern lights before we realized that was just radiation from the sun hitting off a like electromagnetic hyper points at the earth around the earth's poles you probably know? thought it was ghosts they thought it was something fucking crazy they're like oh these are the f-. they probably thought it was ghosts you're yeah. right like there's Light demons in the sky. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, the haunted light ghosts. The right? haunted sky ghost yeah. lights are back. <laughs> I, I don't know how I feel about it one way or the other. I do think it's very fun to talk about, though. Absolutely. Um, that's a, I think a lot of shit like that's just totally explainable, but I yep. think it's, really, it's a really fun avenue to explore. Yeah, absolutely. And I love haunted houses, and I like getting myself scared. I like scaring myself. I like getting myself scared. So totally. shit like that's cool as fuck, dude. Totally. If I could explore urban ruins or something like that, like I'd go explore a supposedly haunted place, but it'd be for the same kind of fun that I'd get out of going to a haunted house. It'd be so there's little freaky moments where I can scare myself about dumb bullshit. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, um, head out and be like, remember when that tree tapped on that glass and I shit my pants? <laughs> And pissed my jizz out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was like, Jesus. fuck. That's gross. <laughs> all right. Well. Dude, I pissed all my jizz. Hey, man, I, I, like, I feel the same for the most part. Like, I'd be down to go look at some spooky stuff. But I remember a few years ago, um, our singer, Garrett. Yeah. Um, shout outs, Garrett. Shout outs. He was talking to me about the Velisca Axe, Axe Murder, Murder House. House. Yeah. And he's like, we should go sometime. And at first I was like, fuck yeah, let's go check that out. And then I thought about it later and I was like, I feel kind of icky about that, dude. Like About going to a demon house? Just about going and paying money to walk through something like that. Just like, here's a terrible thing that happened to an entire family, including several little children. And I'm going to pay some money and go look More at it. More than that. That property's spooky. had some wild shit happen at it. Well, when I say wild shit, I just mean a lot of murder besides that family as well happened at that i believe anyways i don't think that house exists anymore oh really yeah i think uh that may be one that uh zach baggins ghost adventures bought and tore down wow why did he do that because it was he was like this place is fucked he felt the same way as I do. Like it's it's yucky. People are Probably trying that. to come pay money and walk through here. It's uh, yucky. Probably like it's the way it's sold. You know what I mean? Because that's all ghost ghost adventures is entertaining, but it's all a package product. You know what I mean? That's that's hyper dramatized and this that and the other thing. It's 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 meant is as that entertainment. the one where he just yells at the ghost? Yeah, and it's hilarious. Fuck that show, I dude. Could fucking I like it because it's hilarious. He's like he's like if there's any presence in this house. Show yourself and don't be such a coward. Show yourself, you coward. You come at me if you want to scare some people. You come try and scare yeah. me, you coward. Yeah. Hey, I find that shit super entertaining. Uh, okay. And uh, I think it's hilarious that he's yelling at the dark. But Dude, he wears tight t-shirts 
and yells at ghosts. And people are like, that's a fucking cool show. That dude's got balls. I think it's entertaining. I think you're entertaining, buddy, and I really like you. I think those dudes would be funny to hang out with because, nope. like, there's well, it's that's the thing is you seen it and got your taste and then made your judgment. Like, I've watched a lot of it. Nope. I think they'd be fun to hang out with. Say more things about them real quick. Hold on. Go ahead. No. Come on, dude. Say say another nice thing about no. them real quick. It's going to take you at least two years to appreciate what I have to say right now because it's it. full of hatred. Say it. No. Tell me another. Tell me one more good thing about that show, please. Thanks for tuning in this week. Uh, we had a lot of fun. I threatened Brad. He threatened me. Then we talked about ghost stuff. Um, it was pretty cool. Chime off in the comments if you got any ghost stories. And tell us how you fucking debunked them. Because you know that shit wasn't okay, real. Okay, I got one. Check it out. You know that shit wasn't real. Check it out. They find some really cool locations in that show. Nope. That's all I wanted to say. Uh, I am Nick. I'm Brad. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourselves. Do do do.